Hey guys, next up is level 15. We're gonna go for the three stars day or night uh, mission. I already did it. Uh, you might have seen my video where I did the whole thing and just before the victory screen, the game crashed. So I'm gonna redo it to get a complete three stars, to get the badges and everything. And the way we did that was, I'm gonna get this time, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. They're gonna get a crypt here another crypt here this is going to be the area damage tower uh, we're going to set up here another crypt but i don't see it so we're going to go for the tower we're going to take the mana pool and start up start up the wave already with the uh, income that's coming up i'm already going to clean up the stuff and a little bit more put some crypt Fast forward that with all those scripts that I should die quite quickly and easily, but that was more dangerous than I thought. So let's clean this up and put up a den and fast forward it. There still is a little bit of blood, I'm not sure what exactly for. But that tower is super important, so let's clean that up get another tower let's upgrade this one first because I think that's a super important tower to have. fast forwarding that thank you for the gold I'm gonna get this tower already worked up and next up is going to be a flyer is going to be a one Valkyrie and I'm not so afraid of one Valkyrie here we got the monk who is killing the knight but that's not gonna work out too well for them and now the Valkyrie is coming up I'm upgrading the dance first super there is the Valkyrie she is going to get shot by the crypt and is she going to pass? no she is not I'm getting lucky a little bit with those gold points so we're going to upgrade these important towers to level 1 and start up we got rogues rogues are fast and I am a little bit concerned about that rogue because he's also healing up but with all these towers shooting at him he should not normally break it and true enough he goes down that's a mine by the way if you don't know what that is that is a mine okay let's continue with clearing up the forest and get those much needed towers uh, out there again I'm concerned because the game is lagging still upgrade that one I'm concerned again if it's gonna crash but with all these towers hopefully not the cleanup operation is almost done you can take some mana here, you got a script already getting to experience. And then all these towers need to get experience. And all they all of them will become ballistic naturally. There you go. This one already needs to go inferno. It's a very important tower. Though. I'm gonna get a den tower there as soon as I can. And also here because these engineers especially are very dangerous. They're shooting those clouds. But there is a scroll that I can use in case of emergency. So I'm not so much concerned right now for the bottom part. We did go down on the scroll. That's good. And I don't have the mana. But so far so good. The gold coins are very welcome and so is the mana. Gonna use that for another then call on the next wave. 
And those guys are actually quite dangerous. So I'm gonna put in a temple tower to help me there. And I might use this scroll. Because that wizard is almost not going to pass. Yeah, the wizards are, are kind of crazy in the amount of health and everything they have. Alright, next up upgrades. Coins. More upgrades. Or let's see, we can use the mana for additional clear ups, which will give me another crit down here. Once I secure the bottom, I can concentrate on the top. And the bottom is of course giving me the gold necessary. Upgrade that. Mine is always a problem. And that's why I'm happy when they drop those gold coins. It's much appreciated. There we go, there were actually three wizards there. For those who didn't see it. <laughs> Here we go. Four <laughs> They're not going to have the best of the time. <laughs> there they go down. Everybody's shooting at them. Alright. Next up is going to be the bird boss thingy. For which I'm going to upgrade that tower. And call her <laughs> Engineers making a mess of it. And I am a little bit concerned that that bird is going to pass. So I think I'm gonna use Trevor. Pretty sure that he was gonna pass if I didn't do that terror. But now is down. And I'm concerned about the bottom that I can't even see. There he is, He's, he needs one more shot, and there he goes down. So again, upgrading these things, getting a ballista tower, that's always important. And I want to get another den up here, for a ballista also. And call up the next attack wave. <laughs> Below I got a lot of points, but I, I want to keep that scroll for emergencies. You see those ballistas are precious. Gonna try to take the money without touching the scroll, but it's very difficult. Took two of them. Inferno Tower was the priority. Let's go fast forward and getting those 10 towers upgraded is very important because those mass ballista are really really useful. First the dread tower in the game. I'm gonna get another one up front here just to separate those engineers a little bit. Got a lot of mana and coins. Gonna use this short time to get dread towers here. And a ballista. Gonna get rid of those things, get another dread tower. So basically a lot of upgrades as you see for the bottom. Because I wanna also get some more towers here. And start the next attack wave. Starting with a bang. And you see the ballistas really do a great job. So that they allow me to fast forward things. I can clear up the rest of the forest with the mana that I have. And have a clean map right now. Another ballista. I do like the ballistas, especially when they become rocket towers for five crashes. And that 
area damage is quite cool. Quite cool. As you can see what's happening there. I have everything going there actually. Oh, sorry. Um, area damage. The next up, the elemental is going to come. And you will see that even with area damage, it's not a problem. Because the area damage powers do tend to do a high amount of damage, which bypasses their shields. I'm gonna upgrade this star right here. This half health, and he hasn't even passed half half the distance. Let's go to the next. Wait, we got the trees, and the trees are dangerous only when, um, only when you don't have any area damage. Then you may have a problem with it. But otherwise, it's not a problem. Again, gonna get a grip already there to get it leveled up. I'm gonna pick up some gold coins, put a crypt up here for the bosses. Next up, a den tower and a temple at the at the bottom. Let's call up the next attack. Starting with a bang. Den tower. And I need a temple tower also. Here is the temple tower. And another temple tower on the bottom and I think I'm done with the bottom. There is a flyer who was trying to pass through, he got chopped down straight off. The important thing here is the ballista got ready, so now I got two ballistas shooting. I'm gonna fast forward to the end of the wave and then I'm gonna do the construction. I do appreciate all those coins for dropping. Still fast forwarding before I start the construction. Or let's just do it at the same time. Upgrade. Tower. Coins, coins. More coins. And then we can put up a den tower perhaps here. Or maybe that's not necessary. We can, um, I think that's enough towers. I'll buff up the whichever ones are remaining. Just accidentally clicking on the scroll, I didn't really need to. And I think this is enough towers to come to the game. So just gonna fast forward it. And especially upgrade these towers at the back. But I'm gonna upgrade the level ones first because they're cheap. So just calling straight away the next wave. Ballista upgrade. Engineers are just getting hammered, even though they put the cloud. The ballistas kind of don't care because they release the ballistas and then the cloud comes. And did somebody just pass without... He almost made it, thank god I saw him. He almost made it. I wasn't looking, I hope he didn't touch the gem because otherwise that would be a failed attack. I should have been paying attention. But I, did, I wasn't. And we got a rocket dan. Now that rocket dan has an immense rage, range. You can see he's shooting everywhere. And he is going to be the nightmare of these ninjas. And the reason I use that scroll is because those ninjas actually managed to pass through. Because for a strange reason they were not engaged at the beginning. Probably due to the lack of upgrade. So 
I better pay attention at the bosses so it doesn't happen again. But otherwise, I'm fast forwarding now. Let's take the coins and upgrade the important towers first. Like the Inferno Tower is extremely important now becoming a Hellfire Tower. Taking the coins, because that's my only source of income at the moment. And I really want to upgrade this one, but don't have the cash for it, so I'm gonna go for this one instead. The Hellfire Tower is really good. And the rocket tower is not good either. Finally the dread tower is ready and it became a shattering crypt. And just a couple of nights left. There's some coins over here, but again, not enough to upgrade those towers. I'm focusing on the, on the bottom, I have plenty of towers, but at the top, I need more upgrades because there's a limited space for towers. So that's what I'm gonna do. Beholder Ifrit. Made an Ifrit tower there, which will focus on the bosses then. A small upgrade at the bottom. Two coins and a ballista above is ready, that's important. With these two coins I can get to the ballista level 2 there. And here come the bosses. The two guys. And I can meteor them, I think. We're getting hammered. Gonna toss in a meteor anyways. And that should be more than enough to get them down. But those guys are immune to fear. And so none of the shattering crypts are working. That's why I'm gonna get a frosty crypt here. Just for the heck of it. And I think there are no more upgrades, so I'm gonna start with the Ballista here becoming a rocket dam. Look at the damage that Hellfire Tower is doing with this whole And here the Inferno Tower is smashing the, the guys, the, the enemy, the moment they come out. Still on fast forward, just is going slow. Gonna upgrade the ballista here at the bottom to make sure that the bottom is alright. We got 13 ninjas coming in next. It's gonna be interesting. Here we go with the 13 ninjas. Of course, also the enemies are come out of the academies. But look at that, the Hellfire Tower is a good tower. They're really not passing. There's two upgrades. Third one. Not entirely enough money for all the upgrades. So let's go and let's keep the money a little bit in case one of the bigger towers gets upgraded. So one more coin there. And of course I need those ballistas to get um, to get level up. And I need money for that, so I'm gonna keep going. Take these coins. Anyhow, we're not in a rush. We got eight bards and knights coming through next. The bards are gonna give the speed. 
look at what the Hellfire Tower is doing to them. I love that tower. Some knights managed to pass through, but already without the armor. So you see, it's just a massacre. And next wave, we got 15 paladins, and that's gonna be a little bit more interesting. We got another ballista too, near the gems, that's an important upgrade there. And the, here the shattering crypt. Here they come, the paladins. But because they came in the crowd, they all got taken out. The rocket tower, the, the hellfire tower, and then the Ifrit tower picking them up one by one. It's just cruel. Next up we got three bosses coming. But they're all elementals and they have to pass through the gauntlet, so I think they're gonna have a big problem. And for that I'm gonna upgrade the Shattering Crypt and wait for them to come up. Here Ballista 2. I'm taking some upgrades below because I did get some coins. And the coins should allow me to do some upgrades. Especially the area damage, and for 600, I will keep it for the boost. And we just got ready, so I'm gonna take another rocket then. So we're waiting for that rocket then for a while. And the boss thinks he will pass. But he won't. Every tower they're waiting for him. Gonna burn him. Another Ifri tower and then the Hellfire tower is getting really angry and the other guy is just walking back up. <laughs> going, going and I can already see the end of the mission. The king is above. Here the boss called the king. Coming after 18 ninjas and 17 engineers. Thousand gold in the house, and let's get another shattering crits, which are really cruel. <laughs> Some more tower upgrades. I'm not bothering with more towers, there's enough mathematics and lag happening. And at 600, I'm gonna keep for the gem towers to be upgraded, but I do see a lot of coins here that is going to allow me to indeed get more upgrades especially on the bottom towers so let's just get all of them get this one especially the ballista and directly the shattering crypt and i think there is no more tower upgrades so all one that just leveled up so i got a health tower now on my hand the bottom line also a small health tower right on the exit which is just awesome now that tower is completely blocked. So just gonna fast forward because these next couple of waves are relatively easy. Especially fun is going to be uh, the third wave from now with the 16 dendrologists. Because they summon but I got tons of area towers to take care of them. So that's always fun to watch. Check the damage of the Hellfire. It's just unbelievable. And what we don't see so well is the Rocket Tower. They're doing actually a lot of, a lot of pain they're wishing The Shattering Crypts are of course super important because well they send everybody back. And you see all the ninjas are dying right here. Just on the bottom, a little bit to the right of the Rocket Tower. And that's exactly when their 5 seconds or so runs out from the moment that their invisibility is triggered. So let's go to the next wave, which are the engineers. Oh no, the dendroids already. So they come out in mass, but they get smashed by rocket towers and hellfire towers. So their summoning ability doesn't work anymore. They get a catapult down here even. 
So I got all kinds of towers now. That catapult is just doing like an area scattering shot, which is also pretty amazing. And it's a great place for a catapult because there are no bosses coming out from there. Another not so important location for um, a tower, but anyhow I'll put up an Ifrit tower in case somebody does pass there. It will then be able to kind of uh, sniper out whoever is there. Three elementals next. You see immediately they get multiple damage because of the uh, area of effect. So splash damage it's called. It's like when somebody shoots somewhere but it also hits everything around it. So you see the rocket towers are smashing both of them. But the shattering crypts are doing the immense damage of both hurting and also sending them back in fear. 17 of uh, who is that? I think those were the, the mages which are coming out. The wizards. Now they don't look as stuck, and I get another rocket tower exactly when I needed it, right before the end. It would be wonderful if this. Frosty Crypt would get an upgrade also. That would be indeed quite good. We got 8 more of these Wizards and Kai Druids coming out next. Practically all the towers are at 5 stars. So I'm just... I'm actually on fast forward believe it or not. But because there's so much calculations and everything, it's just going very slow. Here we got another ballista becoming a rocket tower. I took the rocket tower because of its range. There's already a catapult there. Oh, there's some druids trying to pass through, but they're not even managing to get to the center of the river, actually. And next up is going to be just a funny wave with... 18 ninjas all dying in this area right here, right below the rocket tower. I do hope the game won't crash again this time. And there we go. Here we go with the ninjas, they're gonna get triggered right above. And they, some of them actually died already up there because of the all the area damages. But this, this wave is definitely not critical. But the next one actually with engineers might be a little bit of an issue because of all the clouds they're throwing. That could be a little bit dangerous. But the ninjas are not a problem. Because they get triggered in the beginning, then 5 seconds of invisibility, and then they get to the bottom of that rocket tower where they met with, a, with 3 shattering crypts and an ifrit tower plus the rocket, the two rocket towers. So one more. And we can call up the engineers. And there they go. We got a small tower upgrade at the bottom, I'll just do that. It's not an important tower at all and I don't think it actually gets to shoot anybody. I'm quite confident about the bottom, but I don't like that those uh, dread towers are not upgraded. That could be quite useful if they were, but they don't get to shoot anything, so they're not uh, getting experience for upgrades. So the engineers are still coming through, there were supposed to be 17 of them. Sorry. And you see all the smoke? that they put up, which is why it's making it a little bit more difficult killing them. I think I'm gonna unload all my meteor on the boss when it comes, and then just start picking up the bottles on the floor. Could be a way. Okay, here we go. The last wave, the king. A big man. Oh, 
clicking there, two meteors are coming down. If you see, gonna toss in another meteor and click stuff around. I don't see nothing, I don't know where he is. Just taking in the cash. There is the other meteor. I don't see his life either. I'm just picking up the stuff on the floor. Just, I think maybe the stuff on the floor is like lagging it out or something. So he is walking. And I'm like. I can't even click meteor now, so it's all in the hands of my powers. And I can't click also the towers. Oh, here come these crazy guys. I think the game is barely taking my mouse commands. Massive lag. I need to probably be able to meet your this guy and if I can't do that because of the lag I will lose my uh, three star chance actually the towers are even not shooting because it's lagged out completely it's totally lagged out the towers are not shooting the guy it's creating a big issue Two meteors coming down on him, so that guy is taken care of, and King is left. So basically, the biggest enemy is the lag, and not the enemy itself. The King has practically no life left. Gonna toss in the meteor, try to finish it up quicker. And there he goes. I hope that does give me the three star rating I was waiting for. And it, this mission is really too laggy. It's either my computer or the internet cannot handle it. And I did get it. Bash is unlocked. The Coreland 10,000 experience has been cleared out with three stars. You see the victory scroll is also opening up very slow. 724 enemy skills is ridiculous. 12 champions. 5 gems saved, brilliant bonus 10 and there is the 3 star rating with 35,500 experience. That does give me another 3 points for the badge, uh, for the research and for that I can get, I'm trying to get the, the den, uh, the orcs towers to the max. Uh, enemy kill bubble will produce a poisonous cloud and all of us get a chance to cause double damage when hitting an enemy so let's get the poisonous cloud first one two and i still will need quite a few points to get that one covered so there you have it all the towers now and you can see each one of them in the separate videos i uploaded all of them are three stars all the badges are done except the one i believe Two, three and four all of them are done except this one on page three father of nation upgrade all the skills of a race to the maximum and I have best so far 42 out of 50 and that is basically the skills they have to be like all upgraded which is a major major issue because then you have to like play the same maps a bunch of times to get that done which Probably I will not do. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope that was uh, enjoyable and useful and helpful. Uh, please click like, subscribe, check out the videos I made. Thank you very much.